Hello, everybody. Good morning. It is April 23rd, 2020. It is a Thursday. And it is, as you can see, it is a pretty nice day outside. It is pretty warm. Uh, and it is a little cloudy today. It did rain a little bit this morning. Okay, for my video today for both the tribe and the crew, I want to talk more about the cool things that you can do on Schoology to practice your speaking and then also your uh, reading and then also writing. And so let me, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. And I'm gonna show you what some of your classmates have done already. So if we go here to, I'm gonna show you some from the tribe and some from the crew. So if I go over here to the crew and I go to speaking practice, and I'm going to click on describe a picture in a second, but I want to remind you what we do. You look at the picture and describe what you see. Also, you can create creative details that are not in the picture. This is to practice more, okay? So, uh, for example, where is the picture? Why did they take the picture? What are the people thinking in the picture? And is there a story that you can create with the picture about the people's lives? You can record yourself talking about the picture and you can also write about the picture. If I click on describe a picture, and I'm gonna click on this first one. Now, I have had two people in the crew respond to this, Evelyn and Danny. And so thank you, Evelyn and Danny. I'm going to use your responses, okay? So, Danny said, I see a man sitting on a basketball basket. Yeah, that is true. And then Evelyn said, I see a man who is sitting in a basketball basket. I think um, his are sad or thinking. Okay, so I look and I say, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so I like that additional detail. Okay, so here's what I said to Danny because I wanted to help Danny uh, use more English and practice more. I said, why do you think he is sitting on a basketball basket? Okay, because that's weird. People do not just sit on basketball baskets. And I say, what do you think he is thinking about? I go, look, he's, he's thinking something. What is he thinking about? Is he thinking about his girlfriend? Is he, maybe he's sad about coronavirus. Is he thinking about that? Uh, is he thinking about maybe a family member that has died? Is he, maybe uh, he is thinking about, maybe he just moved and he is thinking about his friends, where he is from. So you, you decide, okay? Um, create a story about this boy, okay? So tell me, who is he? What is his name? I know that you do not know, but you can say, oh yeah, this is uh, Rafa. I don't know. And uh, he is actually from Columbia, Missouri, but he moved to um, California and because his dad got a job in California. And just keep going. Is it true? No. <laughs> it is to practice our uh, creative skills in English. Okay. And so the same thing I say to, this is what I say to Evelyn. I say, I think he is sad or thinking about something sad too. Great answer. Now tell me more about him. What is he thinking? Why is he sad? Where is he? Create a story about him. So I also encourage Evelyn to create a story. And then I also get to help Evelyn with her English, okay? Um, her answer was super great. And I just remind her, remember, his equals su. So in this case, you want to say he is. Also remember that we use is with one person, like he or she. And then in English, 
it's basketball. So I remind her that she's going to use a K instead of a Q-U. So she got to learn new things um, that help her with her English. And then she got to read this too. So lots of good English practice for both of them. And then they can respond to me and they can say more. Now, when they respond, they have two choices, okay? They can write their answer, or if they want, they can record their answer, okay? Uh, so if they want to get more speaking practice, then they can do recording. If they want to me to see their beautiful faces, they can do audio and video recording. And so uh, remember, I showed you guys how to record, but I'll do it one more time. Okay, when you start recording. I am Evelyn and I am answering Miss Alicia's questions. Okay, insert recording. And then I have to write something. So my response. Okay, and then maybe Danny decides that he wants to do a video recording. Always put allow, it's okay, okay. Hey, what's up, I'm Danny, and I'm responding to Miss Alicia. I don't know, that is not like Danny, but <laughs> that, was, that was my Danny voice, yeah, okay. Okay, and then it takes a little more time because it's a video. And I insert recording, I have to write something. My response. Bye. And then when I click on this, I can watch Danny. Hey, okay, what's up? I'm Danny and I'm responding to Miss Okay. <laughs> I can um, respond or look, sorry, look at Danny's response. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I want to show you one more that they did i think it was this one yes so this one okay they both responded um in this evelyn said in this photo there are many people in the sea they are exercising and danny said i see people exercising i see rocks i be i see the sun and i see the beach okay so again i got to help evelyn with some english things i reminded her to put a period um, at her sentence. And then I also reminded her that we would probably say at the sea in English, but her answer was great. It's very good. Okay. And then I got to ask her some cool questions. I said, what exercises are they doing? What body parts do they need to use to do these exercises? What are some of your favorite exercises? Do you think it is important to exercise? Why or why not? So she gets to respond to me and gets to practice a lot. Again, she can respond with the speaking recording or she can write her answer. And then I say, also, what exercises are important to be a good soccer player? Do you think that it is important to lift weights to be a better soccer player? Do you think that long distance running or sprinting is more important for the position that you play? What position in soccer do you like best? So then she, so I get to ask, because I know Evelyn, I get to ask her questions about what I know she is interested in. And then she gets to practice talking about what she's interested in here on Schoology for me to listen to or read and for you guys too. So same thing with Danny. I got to ask him about baseball. What are some exercises that are important to do for playing baseball. Do you think that it is important to build muscle to be a better baseball player? Do you lift weights? What cardio exercises, cardio is when you, okay, like running. What cardio exercises are important for baseball? I know that Danny likes baseball, so I get to ask him questions about baseball. So that's cool, okay? So again, the reason I am talking so much about Evelyn and Danny is because they responded. So when you respond, then I get, then maybe I get to make a video and uh, say, ooh, look at the great response from uh, Woon, or ooh, look at this great response 
from uh, Safari or John or V or Simon or Merhawid or Joseph or Katie or Danya or Diani or Carol or Hiron or Nidal or Chantel or Naomi or Esther. I think that's everyone. <laughs> oh, and oh, I'm talking to the I'm talking to the tribe too. Um, <laughs> so also from Merci and from Samaza and Prosi, I want to hear from you and I want to hear from uh, from Eli. I haven't heard from Eli. I want to hear from uh, I have heard from Luam, we will see, but I want to hear from Rawa too and from Biniam. Um, I also want to hear from Haiti and Atsiri and Adolfo um, so that I can talk to you guys here in Schoology and of course you, Peter, as well. Okay. Uh, so, yes. All right. So now I want to show you guys uh, what um what luam did because that was pretty cool too so luam is my first person to dis to do the speaking of describe a picture so i thought that was pretty cool oh wait there is it um she did the one with the fruit let's see where's the fruit picture maybe that was number two nope Maybe that was, I kind of think it was number four. Yes, okay. So here's all this fruit and veggies. Luam did something super cool. She also put this picture of the row of a rose that she drew. So she shared a picture with us. So that's pretty cool. And then she recorded herself. So I listened to her recording and we can listen here. And this picture has fruit. Those are carrot, striped berry, onion, grapes, apple, orange, and pineapple. Pretty cool, right? So I got to listen to her even though we are not at Douglas High School right now. And so I said to her, I got to respond, wow, I love that drawing of a rose. That is beautiful. Do you like to draw a lot? Do you have more drawings you can share? Did you draw this rose from your memory, a picture, or from a real rose outside? So I got to ask her more questions about her very cool drawing here. And then I said, great description of the fruits and vegetables. I think the one in the top right is some kind of vegetable. Um, it looks like a pineapple though. And then, Something that I can do also is I can respond with speaking. So I'm going to do audio video. Hey, Luam, that was a really good response. Now, I have a question for you. When you were in Eritrea, was there fruit that you ate there that you do not eat here in the United States? Uh, maybe there's fruit that grows in Eritrea that we do not grow. What is that? What is the name of that fruit in Tigrinya? And if you do not know the name in English, can you uh, describe what it looks like and what it tastes like, please? Okay, so it's going to upload my video into Schoology and then she gets to hear me, hear me respond. So she gets to practice. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to put my response. And so she gets to practice her reading skills because she can read what I wrote, her listening skills to listen to what I said to her. And then she can, pra and then she can choose to practice her speaking skills by doing a audio response or her, her writing skills or both. So lots of cool things that we can do here. So that is what I, I think I'm gonna stop there today. So what I want everybody to do today, if you, if you can, if you want to, because this is all optional, but look at the cool ways that I can help you with your English. 
is I want everybody, if you can, if you want to, to go to Schoology, okay, click on speaking practice, click on describe a picture, and then tell me more about the picture, okay? All right, I think that that is what I want to share for you today. Uh, so yeah, thank you for those of you that have responded and I'm, I'm excited to see what others share with us and describe a picture. All right, guys, have a wonderful Thursday afternoon and I will see y'all, see, see y'all. And sometimes in English, people say y'all instead of you guys. And sometimes I say that. So <laughs> see y'all later. Okay, have a great day.